Hello my friends, I'm back at the elementary school. I was here this morning looking at a book fair. I walked here this morning to avoid parking, like even the staff parked over in a shopping center. I see them walking to their cars, but I'm thinking up Sebastian from his club and the pilot is so crazy. I just didn't want to walk again and he probably doesn't want to walk because he's a little more tired than usual today, but I drove over for the first time, then he has a meeting, parked in the back because I don't want to park along the front like everybody does illegally. I'm sure they're allowed to, but he can walk around the building. But yeah, no school tomorrow. And then I'll be here Monday and Tuesday to volunteer at the lunch. I had somebody rush up to me when I was checking in at security. He's like, are you the one that's been signing up for everything? Like all the posters, thank you so much. I did sign up for five different posters because I kept seeing teachers and staff that I know and love. I'm like, I have to do theirs too. Anyway, coming around the corner, so I'm gonna go wait the last 10 minutes for his coding class to be out. Have a happy, happy when Pooh's day. Jamie Land. I just got Sebastian to sleep, that's why I'm already in PJs. I really wanted to wear a mask today for the book fair. The person beside me was like sniffling a little bit, but could be allergies. Could be lunch meat, could be peaches. But every time I tried to wear one, nobody could hear what I was saying and everybody is to talk to me. It's just like the lunchroom 
I tried an N95 at first and then switched to this one and just didn't work. So I was like, alrighty. But I did sanitize my hand after every credit card I touched. Anyway, I guess I spoke to you before I picked up Sebastian. So I did get him and I offered to take him for a treat. But first he wanted to play on the playground at the school and then I quickly got him a treat, but at that point I couldn't film anything because Danny needed to be home so he could go out to a store, but it was so close to Jack sitting home. I was like, he'll be home in like 10 or 15 minutes, and he was home I think in 12 minutes. So Danny was able to leave, and we got home a little bit after that and brought Jack's a treat home. It was just Starbucks, so I stashed and I got teas and a little snack, and I brought a Frappuccino to Jack's that was free because I used my stars. I could have gotten a Vente, but he got a small, tall, because I don't need that much. There's a little tiny ducky in my pocket. I never got to show you this, but when we were in Redondo Beach visiting our friend, we took a walk and one of the houses we walked by in the front yard, just past the fence, like across the fence, there was a tray of ducks. It's like, take, take some ducks. I caught 500 or something. I don't know what it was. I got 100 ducks. And he was sitting out, like an older Asian man sitting out, just people watching and enjoying living at the beach. And he's like, take, take ducks, take ducks. Sebastian took two and he hid one not very far. He only made it like two stein posts and put it down. And then he kept one for himself. Jack's one, got one, and this is mine. <laughs> He's so cute. And he was in the one cardigan that I had there and was wearing constantly because it was so cold in that pocket. But then I ended up shoving him into this pocket when I didn't want to go out and about with him in there. That's the story of my little ducky in my pocket. So now there's a fish and a duck. <laughs> but yeah, I got home with Sebastian and he asked to go out and play. And I said, please ask the nice kids <laughs> who live in the townhouses around the corner from us. We share an alley. And luckily the second grader was free and they played in the alley making slime. I brought them some glitter. I'm trying to get rid of all my glitter and not buy more glitter because it's bad for the environment. But I might as well use up what we have. So I gave them some glitter to make glitter slime and what was I doing? Like I was constantly having to go in and out and doing things like putting Sebastian's school stuff put away and cleaning up. I don't know, but I do have an edit that came through, but he's going to have to wait till tomorrow. Yeah, in the evening, I worked on some knitting that Jack's designed, which it's like all blue and it just has kiwi in three spots, but there's so much blank space between the colors of kiwi. And if you know stranded knitting, you've got to carry all those colors behind the, the fabric. I don't know if I can get to this without completely wrecking my pile. So here's a stranded sweater I made. Inside, you see those lines are called floats. That's the color you're not currently using or colors multiple. At one point, I'll have four colors going in Kiwi. But I would have these huge stretches where I'd be carrying a minimum of two colors behind it. And this is supposed to be a summer hat. It'd be really lightweight and it's super annoying to carry a bunch of yarn for inches. You've got to start twisting things together so it doesn't make this big loop that hangs down. That the twists can show through. It's just really fussy and annoying. And I was like, I need to figure out a way to do this. There is something called instarsia. I don't know how you pronounce it, but it looks like instarsia. And that's when you're knitting back and forth, you can just have little tiny balls of color. And when you get to that area where that ball of color is, you 
you knit it and then when you come back you pick that ball up and knit it again. It's not used when you're going around like you do for a hat because you go around and then your yarn is over here and you're going to come back around and knit it here. So I've been doing really a whole lot of weirdness to try to do this instarsia. I didn't look up any hints. For the feet, there's a bunch of little toes that I had to do. I just kind of used a small piece of yarn and I knitted one end of it for like the bit of brown and then I knitted a little bit more and then the other end for the other bit of brown. It probably makes no sense. And now I'm like trying to go all the way around with just three bits of yarn, one for each key. And I have to like skip the stitches that are the color and then go backwards, which means you purl. And then go back, go back over skipping the ones that I just purled to get to where I need to be. And that made no sense, sorry. But yeah, I was like super focused and Danny so sweetly made dinner. It was a free for all. Normally we call it pot pie night because three of us have pot pies and Jax usually has some sort of a frozen chicken meal. We need to find him a better one because he loves the chicken, but he hates the pasta. It's like mushy, but the, the chicken he likes always comes with that. So I don't know. Maybe I've seen it with like mashed potatoes, but I don't think you'd eat them. But anyway, this time Danny messaged and had me ask Sebastian if he wanted pot pie or salmon. And of course he's going to choose salmon. <laughs> so they had salmon and I had a pot pie, vegan, and Jax had the chicken. And then I went back to knitting, but Sebastian found the game Scribble Knots Ultimate and wanted to try to play it, which was a whole lot of me like having to read half of it. At least he read half. And then he can't figure out what to do. And so the only way I can figure it out is to just try things. So I kept having to put down my very complicated knitting that had a million spring thing outfit to help him. And then it was bedtime, late bedtime to let him stay up an hour because I'm not still too loud. Sorry that my eyeliner is biting the dust. It's allergy eyes. But yeah, that's my update. It was, it was a good volunteer day and because it was such a huge event, there was a lot of PTA and a lot of I don't even know who all these people were, people that organized the things. And it was nice to talk to them, even though I still don't know their names. They say it briefly, but I've seen your name a few times, unless you are a child or a dog. I seem to remember those ones a little better. Child, children, sometimes I take a couple tries too, but dogs, yeah, I'll remember your dog. <laughs> but it's still nice to know to talk to everybody and I don't know if they just think I'm a crazy person but I'm just used to homeschool where I did everything and so now the kids have vacations over here and I'm over here if you say oh hey there's these things you can do to be involved I'll be like sign me up for all of them because I'm used to doing it all but I'm looking forward to making those posters Oh, I did work. That's what I was doing. That's what I was doing. I was working on designing those posters. I designed three out of five. Kind of looking for inspiration on posters and cards and I guess decorating doors for teachers and things. So just all these silly puns for thank you. I picked out all my favorites and put them, matched them up to who I was making the posters for and then made my own versions and planned out what materials I needed and I placed a Walmart order. That would be your Saturday. They were trying to deliver it on two days. I was like, please just come once. You don't need to deliver the glue sticks on a separate day just because it's at a store that's closer. So hopefully everything comes Saturday. All right, they have a pack of exactly five colored poster boards. So I pl I'm planning them out. So I use each color. <laughs> That needs to be in stock because I'm gonna have to redo things. Then I got like, really good prices on scrap of paper, just mostly solids or swirly solids. And Google Eyes, more glue sticks, as I said, because I went out. Might need some hot glue because I'm trying to do some 3D elements. So we'll see 
everything sticks. I think hot glue will do it. Hopefully my posters won't be too heavy. I'm a little ambitious. We'll see how it goes. I think, what am I doing? I'm fidgeting with these. I think the hardest thing is going to be cutting out all the text because I do not have one of those fancy little Cricut cutter thingies. I will be printing these out, printing the letters out in these black outlines on white, sticking it to the back of the paper and cutting them out one at a time, every single letter. So that paper needs to come because these posters need to be done in about a week. I have a lot of letters to cut. Okay, that's my update. Good night, my friends. I will see you tomorrow. I don't know what's going on. I'm going to sleep in as much as I can, which might just be till like 7 and then lay in bed until the kids drive me crazy. Poor Danny has to work, but he's got a weekend coming up too. So I will see you there for then. I'm so tired. My mouth cannot function. Good night, Stacy. Be kind and don't forget. Wash your hands.